All right, start from the beginning and just uh, tell us a little bit about how Damon Gibson became a dragon. Well, I think some fortunate circumstances. Um, you know, his, his dad was an alum. Um, there were, he worked for an alum. Uh, and so I think there was some natural kind of stars that aligned as far as connection within our program. And then um, there was this opportunity for him to play uh, on offense. And, and he felt like that he could be a wide receiver that could be pretty productive. We uh, were hoping he wanted to be a defensive end because he was so big and that's what our team needs were. And so um, we gave him the chance to prove himself at wide receiver and certainly uh, he took advantage of that and definitely proved that, that he belonged at a wide receiver position. Damon's going to be playing in the East-West Shrine game. How cool is that to have not only a Dragon be there, but be the Division two guy? Well, I think he's, you know, a guy that basically is putting everything on his shoulders as far as here's a Division two guy that, that is getting his chance. Um, Division two logo that's on the NFL Network. So I think he's representing um, Division two. He's representing our conference, obviously our institution. And, and I think that's a exciting thing. And, and when you dig a little bit deeper, he, he's a nine man football player. He's he's representing tons of nine man football, small school football. And so it's kind of that um, classic um, underdog story that he's living in out uh, and has a chance to, to make it happen. A lot of the things that we're seeing from the Shriner game has moved Damon into several kind of different position categories. As a coach and someone who has coached Damon, talk a little bit about his coachability and from when you tried to recruit him as a defensive player to proving himself as a wide receiver and now having him go through being a wide receiver in college and trying to be a tight end or whatever they try to make him in this game. Well, this is an important week, important transition for him. Um, you know, to get to the next level, they they project him that he needs to be a tight end, uh, even a fullback, a guy that can move around and be tough enough and big enough to block guys in the box, but also go on the perimeter and create some mismatches. And so this week's important that he can show he is coachable. Uh, he can show that he is versatile and can pick up a new position and do it at a high level because he's going to play against some of the best competition that he has uh, in his entire life this week. Uh, and, and so it, it's critical that, that he has a good week of practice and then obviously uh, a good game. What does this mean, having Damon in this game for MSU and Dragon football? Well, I think it shows just um, that our program is really relevant, that it's grown over the years, that we have talented football players here, that we're able to develop players uh, to their full potential um, as Division II athletes and guys that can, you know, at least warrant getting looks to get to the next level.